In this video, we'll download and install Slicer for Fusion 360 and take a look at it. To find Slicer, click on Add-ins and go to the Fusion 360 App Store. Here's Slicer. Click on it and download it. You do need to be signed in with your Autodesk account and then save the file. Once the file has been downloaded, install it and that's what its icon looks like. You can open it directly by clicking on that icon and have a look at it. Click on import and bring in an STL file or click on this icon and then bring in an example, for example, the human head. Under construction techniques, you can click on any of these and see what it does to the model. And they all have different options. When you see red, that means there's a problem and you've got to go back and fix it somehow. You can modify these techniques a little bit. You can get assembly steps. See, this is how to put it all together. You can see how it looks with different materials. I'm going to go back to stacked slices. And here, I can click on Get Plans. And this shows me all the sheets of the parts. If I click on one sheet, I can see a close-up of them. And then if I click on File Type, I can download it as an EPS, PDF, or DXF. I can also access Slicer directly through Fusion. Click on Make, 3D Print. Under Print Utility, here are the programs you can send it to. If you click on Custom, a navigation folder comes up with which you can find Slicer and map it to Fusion. And there you have it.